Né en Jamaïque, Chaka a pris le nom d'un seigneur Zoulou défendant la cause de l'opprimé. Depuis 20 ans, ses disques diffusent la musique du ghetto de Londres, combat social et message spirituel Rastafari. I was born into the church. My parents are devoted Christians. And um, because of this, um, our knowledge of the Bible is of such because that's the way we, we grew up. So at first we used to bring little instruments into the church, like play them when people were singing. We used to bring our guitars and play in the background with and you know certain kind of thing from in the church. So that's where I really started to play. But we found at that time I was hearing a lot of music what we could naturally play. You know, as if you were dreaming about it. We were dreaming about all this type of music. But our band at that time was very young. You know, we had no, you know, full experience of the music. I, I get to realize that, oh, well, the best thing to do is to start buying a lot of these records. So that's how I used to come into sound. That's how I came into sound system, because I used to buy a lot of records and keep them. And my friends used to play out with little sound systems. and they used to come and borrow my record to play. But sometimes they didn't understand them enough to play them as a DJ. You know, now I have to put them together one after each other. So they used to say to me, oh, you come and do it. Come down tonight and you play your own records on our equipment. And so I came in on that level of, um, with the sound system. <laughs> In the era when the sound system started, you had people like Angela Davis, Martin Luther King, in that era. Um, it was a black consciousness era with, with, where the sound developed. But we wasn't able to go to the House of Commons and go and speak to parliaments. So we had to express ourselves through our music and using the sound system as a way of putting it over as a media for our people. We have developed a crowd over the years because of the type of music what we play. Um, some people go to church, some records they consider it to be gospel music because there's a lot of Bible quotations inside them. And away from that, we, we deal with a lot of drums, which um, is the first telephone, what uh, Shaka Sound might play, what even if it doesn't have vocals, actual voices on it, there is still a message being sent because of the beat of the music. a lot of sound system which um, they play very loud, very loud bass. Um, you know, what you can't even stand up in front of their speakers and things. Um, some people might listen to Shaka and say sometimes, oh, he must have his bass turned up full. But we're not trying to play that way. We're trying to play a different frequency of bass, which is very deep. We're working on the bass a lot because um, people respond, like you're talking about the Shaka crowd, the people respond to the, that bass frequency. You know, it causes a vibe, causes people to, you know, it, energy flows through, you know, the base. Our equipment is of the old kind. Um, the turntable you see me using is nearly 50 years old. I'm still in the primitive stage then, if you like, of sound system. We have remained in that stage, but we find it the best. It's, um, you know, there's more feel to it. Even if you have a slight distortion on the record, it's like, it's part of it, it's, you know, part of the whole thing. Alright, so 
So we come in for you, right? All right. All right. Bye. Business checker. Yeah. So it is. Yeah, he's it's, it's keeping, he wants to keep a session, you know? A dance. So he's just phoned me to say he's got, he's got the building, the building has been confirmed. We have done a lot of work in London here, where there have been riots and things like that happening. Um, and certain things, bad things have happened and they need to raise funds for someone in a problem and things like that. The sound system has helped out. The sound system has helped raise funds for sending things to Africa, people wanting grain. You know, 13 people were killed in a fire in New Cross. You know, it's a very dangerous thing. We had to play for several shows for them, fundraising. They've got Steve Biko project, projects um, running here. We have helped them several times. So most of the community centers, because uh, part of my job is as a youth leader. I've been doing that for about 18 years doing youth work. So I work with a lot of youth. So what I'm reflecting is not only my knowledge, it's what I've, it's a wide scope of people's knowledge who I've been in contact with over, you know, a period of time. getting wider and wider, you know? And um, we believe in it, so actually it's not a surprise because we have always believed in it all along from the very beginning, you know, that people eventually would get to know, you know, this is for the upliftment of not only the black race, but all races. Um, the um, Rasta ideology and Rasta principles, you know, can stem for any man, no matter what color he is or what creed. There are certain principles that any country I go in, I live to those principles. And um, it's very important that these points get across that if people live like that in a lot of countries, probably people feel more freer. <laughs> 